Hey guys, it's me, Fidel, and my first experience is your key to the Thank you guys for this cool, awesome video. This video is part of the Daily Thoughts series. Today is August 8th, 2017th. It's Tuesday, and I got some awesome stuff for you to think about. So, uh, with the advancements of, like, the daily age of, like, having social media, websites, all these different places, in my personal opinion, it's more, um, it's more possible for someone to be discovered, more, someone to be more seen as to, like, being an artist or a singer or a writer or whatever it is. It's, it, it's, more it's more visible uh and let me tell you why is because the internet is such a vast place and because there's so many different places like twitter facebook youtube uh all sorts of different social media webs uh websites and things you can just go on there you can create a free profile you can start posting and boom you're out there on the internet right um, it's, it's a lot better today than it used to be because it used to be where, uh, we couldn't upload videos of us singing or of us doing art or writings or things like that to the internet. We used, we couldn't do that. It used to not be that way. Uh, we used to have to, like, if you wanted to see somebody sing, you had to see them in person or you had to see them in a performance. If you wanted to see, uh, a movie, you had to go to a movie theater. If you had to, uh, um, if you wanted to write something, you had to wait for a book or you had to be given the actual papers uh, versus now it's it's everywhere. Everybody can post stuff everywhere and can and everybody can be found more easily. Now, when I say people can be found more easily, I mean that people can find you easier, but there are different things to, to, to people finding you a lot easier. And here are the top things that I'm going to tell you on how you can be found easier in this age that we keep advancing to more and more technology and more and more connections, uh, because the more connections and the more technology that we have, like internet and Wi-Fi and all these different things, the more findable someone's going to be, uh, you just have to figure out these particular things. So the first thing is that to be found, you have to, you have to put yourself out there. You have to get up. You have to say, you know what? I love something that I love to do, right? And whether it be singing, whether it be art, whether whatever it is, you find your passion. It's something that you love. Um, I'm not going to get into what a passion is and all that because I'm assuming that you know what your passion is and, that, and that's it's something that you love to do, right? What you're going to do is you have to go out there and you have to tell people your story. You have to tell them why you do it. Uh, you have to show them how you do it. You have to show them, you know, all this different stuff because people connect to people and people are interested when they go on the internet. Like, I mean, there's people who are interested in the internet and looking for specific things, right? And even looking for specific people, talented people, musicians, artists, writers, readers, all this different stuff. People are looking specifically for people like that. But also there's other people that are just on the internet, you know, searching through YouTube, like I do searching through YouTube or searching through websites, just kind of random looking for different topics and things. And you know, you, you never know what you can find. But the thing is, is that if you don't put yourself out there, you don't tell anybody your story, you don't get anybody interested, y y no one's going to find you. You're not going to be, quote unquote, discovered. Now, uh, when I mean discovered too, by the way, I mean like found, you know, where you can start creating a following and connecting with people. I don't mean discovered like, you know, you're going to get this, you know, um, this giant, like, uh, you know, uh, type of deal or anything like that. I mean, although that is possible, that's not why I'm telling you this. That's not the ultimate goal behind this video. The ultimate goal is to <clears throat> get you on the internet to start, have you start to creating a community around what you love and finding people that, that, uh, love what you do and that like to communicate with what you're about, what you're doing. So anyways, um, but yeah, so you have to put yourself out there. You have to be the first one to say, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm going to take those steps, whether they be scary, whether they be big, whether they be something that you have to learn, whether it being learning the computer, learning mobile, learning websites, things like that, taking those steps and initially just putting out stuff. Okay. And, and just putting it out because you're not going to be perfect at first. Okay. The idea is to evolve while you post stuff. So just put something out there. If it's a video, just put it out there. If it's a post, put it out there. If it's a writing, put it out there. Let people see it. Okay. You're not going to be perfect at first. The whole point is getting that ball started rolling. Okay. That's the first thing is you have to put yourself out there. If you don't put yourself out there, no one's going to find you. Next thing is like I discussed in the first part is that now that you're putting yourself out there, you have to tell your story. You have to say, uh, why you do what you do. 
because there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of artists, musicians, writers, all these different things, thousands of people just searching for attention, just wanting attention, just, you know, sending emails, tons of emails, tweets, all this different stuff to thousands of different people asking for attention. What is going to be the defining thing that sits you apart from everyone else? And you know what that is? It's going to be your story. It's going to be your life. It's going to be your experience. It's going to be who you are. It's going to be what you do and why you do it. So to have people follow you and to have people become a community around you, you have to tell them why you do things. Why do you do this? What are your experiences? What makes you that unique person that I'm going to go to every day or possibly every day to check out what you got for new content or or what new art piece you have every time a new art piece comes out things like that you know what is going to drive me what's going to what's, what's going to be those defining rememberable factors that's going to have me keep coming back in and viewing your stuff and that's going to be your story because people connect to people people don't connect to fit uh, to uh just random stuff or random accounts okay that just doesn't happen they connect to ideas they connect to people and that's how we're built around when we create online communities is you have to be personal and it, it just doesn't work if you're not personal it just doesn't work uh at least from my personal experience um but it's just in this digital age, because like I said, is that we are more findable. People are fi- more findable because we have more connectivity amongst the internet and amongst different things. But however, everyone is creating uh, the same amount of connections and asking for the same amount of attention you are. So you ultimately have to set yourself apart and you have to show people, you know, this is me. Okay. There's no other me in the world and that's why you should follow me you know what i mean um i mean there's so many people out there with blindness and visual impairment who are just like me who do different posts who are on social media and things like that but here's the thing is that different people do have different circumstances i have unique circumstances because i've been i've had vision impairment i have blindness i have uh not experienced full uh total loss of vision but that will uh i hope doesn't come later but um anyways that's a total different topic but what i'm saying is is that i have experiences that are unique to me i do art i do uh radio i do tv i do all these different things despite having my disability and i love doing it and and the thing is too is that ultimately is that when i think of disability i think of it just as a word as a means categorized i never see it as a negative connotation or anything like that i don't think of it any more than just it just it's disability that's just the name of it that's just what it's called that's it that's nothing more um and that's that's how i have to think about it and that's what i want to think about it because it's something that doesn't hold me back it's just a part of me but i can't not acknowledge that it's part of me and because um I mean, you can call it different things. I've just been used to calling it disability, but I don't really consider disability as putting a negative label on myself, but others do. So anyways, that's a different topic and I'm getting off pace here. But anyways, coming back to it is that uh, you have to you have to tell people, you have to showcase people why you are the person to come to. That is the second thing. First, you have to put yourself out there. The second thing is that you have to distinguish yourself. You have to tell people why you do the things you do, who you are, the experiences you have because that's going to make you fine-tunely 100% unique from everyone else although there's going to be similarities between you and other people you are going to be fundamentally different and you're going to be your own brand and your own channel so if you're trying to build a, uh, a community around yourself this is what you need to do the third thing is is uh you need to you need to basically make yourself findable. Um, you know, I mean, the first thing is putting your content out there. The second thing is making yourself fine-tunedly different and um, unique, right? The third thing is that you have to make yourself findable. Uh, you have to actively, um, you know, share content. Uh, the thing is, is that depending on what social media network you you are using or that you want to build community around, depends on the frequency of uh, content that you have to create or that you or that you should create um i'm not saying that there's a perfect way of doing this because people do it in many different ways this kind of coincides with what your passion is um here is a few examples 
YouTube personally posting at least one video per day. Uh, I would recommend having kind of like this, like a daily thoughts video series where you're giving out daily thoughts. That could be a very good start to doing a video per day. Uh, for Twitter, I would recommend probably two or three tweets per day at least. Uh, Facebook, maybe one or two posts. Uh, things like that. You know, Instagram, maybe one or two photos, depending on. Um, the reason why this is important. So, so you, what you're doing is you are creating, you're creating this brand, you're creating a community around yourself. So first, you're putting yourself out there. You're taking those steps to learn those networks, to post and to get ready to, to put what you love out there and to showcase it, right? The second part is, is that you are telling everyone why you're doing this. Why are you you? Why do you love what you love to do? How do you do it? Things like that. So the, so the second thing is telling your story, making yourself profoundly unique to everyone else because you have the experiences that you only have. And then the third thing is that now you have gotten the first two steps. Now it's time to post. Now it's time to get stuff out there. And it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Right off hand. That's how it is. It's like I said, it's you evolve with your content. You evolve with your brand. You evolve with your audience and what they want and then what you want at the same time. And you continuously evolve as to like, what's your upload schedule? What's your posting schedule? What's your, you know, what are you trying to do? You know, what social media network are you on? Is it high frequency or low frequency of posts? You know, you never know. Um, but that's, you know, that that's ultimately the, the strategies for, you know, because we're getting into this kind of, like I said, this age where we're getting more connected. I mean, we have Wi-Fi everywhere. We have smartphones. We have tablets. We have computers. We have, uh, you know, all these different things that just, they, they, they connect to the Internet. They connect to all of us, and they make it possible for people to find people more easily. And it's just, you know, if you don't put yourself out there, and you don't tell people why you're passionate and you don't share anything, you're not going to be found. And you have to do all three of these things because it's important because people, like I said, people relate to people. And if you're just putting content out there and you're not saying why you're putting it out there, people are going to be like, well, why should I pay attention? That's, that's what I'm saying is that you, you really need to think about this. It's really interesting of a particular topic, uh, but it's my it's my thoughts because this is what I've found to be very, very true about my social media. We're about, you know, the Perseverance Network's at about 90,000 followers and we're about, I would probably say, if I remember correctly, about 66 to 68 networks uh, across multiple, multiple platforms. And, um, you know, the, the, the idea of creating something like that is these fundamental um foundational uh practices is the idea is you first you got to find you know uh first you got to you know figure out <coughs> how you know you got to figure out how you want to do it and then learning the different strategies you know figuring out taking those first steps as to figuring out how to post what social media networks things like that then you have to start telling people on those resulting social media networks why you do things in your story and then the third thing is actively posting and creating awesome content and evolving with your audience and evolving with what you want because the thing is is that also too i want to add in here as well is that while you are evolving with your audience because your audience wants certain things you have to you have to upload and post content that you want to post to because this is your social media network as well as theirs you have to fulfill yourself as well as them at the same time so that's a major thing too is because a lot of people will start these communities and they will ultimately go from what they want to post to just purely what the audience wants and although that although you know yeah okay you're catering to your audience but you're not catering to yourself and because you're not catering to yourself you're not giving yourself that self so that self fulfillment this becomes a job it becomes stressful you need to make this fulfilling for you and your audience okay it has to be that way otherwise again you will fail cuz you will lose that passion you will lose the ability to move forward and it's very important that you don't lose that so these are just my daily thoughts. Uh, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to leave uh, your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, what What do you think? Do you have questions? Do you have comments? Uh, I, I want to get connected with you guys. I want to help you out. I want to help you grow your communities as best as possible. Uh, but otherwise, that is pretty much it for this particular video. Remember, the perseverance is your key to the impossible. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.